Hey guys, EC Network here, coming at you with another video. So over the past five years, I want to say, I've heard a lot of people say these things. Cable's dead. Cable's dying. Cable's not going to exist in five years. Let me just say that cable isn't dead, nor will it ever be, and let me explain why. So back when cable was starting up, everybody was arguing that, oh, cable's going to kill the radio, the radio's dying, the radio's going to be dead in five years. If you look at the radio today, more than 244.5 million Americans listen to the radio each month. Cable didn't kill the radio. The radio, yes, is it doing as well as it used to? No, it's not. Is it doing, is cable doing as well as it used to? No, it's not. It's declining. It's on the decline right now because streaming is, you know, the thing that's really popular right now. Is cable going to be as popular as it was 20 years ago in 10 years from now? No, absolutely not. But it's not going to be dead. Cable is never going to die just as the radio never died. There's always going to be something to keep the radio alive just the same as there's always going to be something to keep cable alive. A major thing, well, two major things I could think of that are always going to keep cable alive is number one, you're going to have news channels keep cable alive. The news is never going to go to streaming. That's just something that's not going to happen. You're never going to see um, Fox or ABC make a streaming service for the news. No one's going to pay money to see that, to stream that, you know? Second thing that's never going to happen, or at least it is happening, but it's not really taking over as we've seen other streaming things take over, sports. So sports are available, you know, on streaming. They're very expensive, but they are available. And here's why it's not going to take over, like, streaming is taking over, you know, animation and just, like, TVs and movies in general. The reason why is I'm going to talk about what something that Mark Cuban said. If you don't know Mark Cuban, he's on Shark Tank. He's the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, the NBA team. He said the reason why streaming's never going to be the way to watch sports is because as it is today, there's about an eight second delay of something happening in a sports game than when you're seeing it on cable. When you're streaming it, that delay becomes 20 to 30 seconds. So you could be on Twitter or any other social media site. You could see someone saying, oh great, LeBron James hit the winning shot and you're 30 seconds behind and you haven't seen it yet. That moment was just spoiled for you or it could be the World Series. Bases are loaded, ninth inning, your team's down by a run. Someone hits a home run, you just won the game by three runs, you won the World Series. That moment was just ruined for you because you're 30 seconds behind on streaming. Also, with sports, the quality is not as good on streaming as it is on cable. These two things alone are what's going to keep cable alive. Not only that, there's still going to be networks that are just on cable, like shopping networks. They're not going to go to streaming. You know, people who like to watch movies on, like, HBO or Cinemax or any of those other premium movie channels that are available, they have, like, a slate of movies all throughout the day every day. Those aren't going to move to streaming. People, there's still a market for those types of things on cable. Even though we're seeing some networks take their content and move it to streaming, like HBO Max, that doesn't mean that cable is going to die. Yes, is Cartoon Network going to die? It could quite possibly, honestly. It could be dead in five years. Are some of the networks that you are extremely popular you know, today or were really popular five years ago going to be dead in five years? Yeah, they could be. But cable as a whole is never going to die. Cable as we knew it 20 years ago, is that gone? Yeah, maybe it is. But it's never going to die as a medium. There's always going to be networks still producing stuff for cable. There's always going to be the news, sports, shopping networks, food networks as well as a big thing on cable. There's always going to be something to tune in to watch your cable TV for. Like I said, are some of the networks going to die? Absolutely. Some of the networks are probably going to be shut down within the next decade, but that doesn't mean that cable is dead. There's always going to be someone to watch cable, just as there's over 244 million people a month listening to the radio. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.